Walks with Dakota day four. If you got a question you want answered, let me know. I have about seven minutes every day that I walk down the street that I will answer any question you have. In the meantime, though, Cody's going to be asking the questions. So let me know what you guys got. All right, let's do this thing, buddy. Walks with Cody and Dakota, round four, day four. Round four, day four. Feeling nicer today. It does. Not as hot. Yeah. Feels good, dude. Topic you were talking about this morning about leaning into maybe your weakest mm. uh, part of your, like, uh, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you, how do you still maintain, like, all of them or decide which one you should, like, lean more into? Um, yeah, that's a good question, buddy. Okay, so... Yeah, this morning, let me just go into that. So this morning I talked about how like doing what is difficult for people is more admirable than doing what is easy, right? And so whenever somebody is like really physically gifted or can make a lot of money, like they just kind of keep diving into that. And it's almost like a avoidance of doing the other hard stuff. And so what I talked about is do what is difficult for you. Um, so what I would say is like, Figure out whatever that is, whatever area you want to grow in, do whatever's most difficult, whatever scares you. Start to do that thing, push into it, make progress towards it, um, and you'll feel a lot better. And what I would say to find out what that is and still maintain the other areas, honestly, I think you have to kind of swing it really far that way and go really in. So if you're really good at making money and you're really good at your health, like that's kind of where I'm at is like, I feel like I'm like good at making money, I'm really good at staying healthy and like freaking working out, pushing really hard. Like I can do that kind of in my sleep now. It's not that difficult for me. Um, I'm leaning more into spirituality and relationships. And so that's very difficult for me. It's very scary, and which is weird to say, but it's honestly scary for me to dive into emotions, feelings, like feeling stuff from my past. And yeah, just it, it's uncomfortable, yeah. but I'm leaning into it. And so what I've found is the more I lean into it, the less of this stuff matters, which is kind of hard for me because you talk about maintaining it. I don't necessarily know if you can or not, mm -hmm. but what I've found is I'm not just going to ignore this other stuff anymore and continue to, you know, keep going in this area. So I'm going to lean really far into it and then find out where I actually want to stay. But instead of like, you know, it being like this and like this, like, you know, one's way up and one's way down, I'm gonna switch it and let this one actually come up for the first time ever in my life and then see where I actually wanna end up. Maybe this one will be here and this one will be here now, but instead of being like this, I'd rather have it be more towards the middle if possible. Um, but I think the only way that you can find out is if you go really far into it, but that's just me. I'm kind of more of an all or nothing kind of person, so I go all the way into stuff um, and then I find out re ultimately where I wanna end up, so. That was a long explanation, but that's a loaded question. Yeah, I thought that would be a good question this morning. I was thinking about that. That's that's what I that's what I'm trying. That's the funniest part too is I don't necessarily know the answers. That's yeah. just what I'm experimenting with. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, you kind of just kind of find where you're like what you're avoiding or what you're struggling with, and then kind of there's your answer right there. Huh? Yeah, that is lean into it, dude. I'm like, all right, that's what I'm scared of. That's what I don't want to do. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yep. Craft can. Uh, okay, you've talked about this before. Thoughts on like being yourself and not suppressing yourself. Thoughts on being yourself, not suppressing yourself. Yeah, I mean, that is a very, very tough thing to even figure out and to do because a lot of times what we do is we're such social creatures, you know what I mean? Um, let's go to the end of where the shade is. Right. We're just such social creatures that a lot of times we do what is like, we do what we see around us a lot of times, you know? And so same thing with like the United States. That's what I found too. Of like, whenever I go into other countries, we start to be a little bit different just because like we're used to a certain way or a certain like constants in America. So it's interesting because you have to find out what you actually want without social influence, but there's always social influence. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very interesting thing. But what I would say is you just have to continue to ask yourself the questions. Like, who are you? Who do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Who did God call you to be? Um, if you believe in that. 
and continue to just ask yourself, find yourself every time you're making decisions. Usually I make decisions based on who I am and where I want to go as opposed to like what I feel in the moment. That's helpful too, but man, it is so difficult to like be authentic, especially in different so social situations. But I also think it's super important. So I don't know if that really answered all the way, buddy. That's a tough one. I figured, yeah, that is a tough one. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Like it's something that a lot of people struggle with. Yep. Sorry, buddy. It's all right. You did the best you could with did the, the resources you had. Did the best I could, buddy. This might be another deep one. Um, some some of these are just like thoughts that are kind of questions, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so seeing others at like a certain level of success and people that maybe haven't had a lot of success in their life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm out of breath. So like people think that like, like you, you have it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So like, they don't think that they can do, do that thing. You know, mm -hmm. like they, they think that they don't have the it, the mm. it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What I found is the it thing is kind of yep. similar to what we were just talking about before this. So wow. like, we notice things that are happening in our life and it takes up mental space. So like, it's just the smallest, littlest, tiniest little things of like, okay, we have something that we need to clean up. And it's just real good. Real nice. Yeah. But we have like the, the smallest things that continue to bug us and we just don't do anything about it. We just continue to ignore it. Um, and then we just keep putting it off. And then we almost get used to putting it off, right? We literally get used to living our life with all of it all, all the way a mess. So I don't like to get used to that kind of stuff, which is kind of like an OCD thing. It's like a weird mix between OCD and then just like just getting stuff done like that. That's what I've noticed is like the highly successful people, they just do stuff faster. They make decisions quicker. And so what I found is kind of goes back to similar to the authentic thing. When you find out who you are, where you want to go, it helps you to make the decisions faster on what you actually want to do. And so like, I'm going to make decisions, get my brain uncluttered from all these other small little things that could be bothering me all at the same time. But dude, Ryan Pineda, I asked him to send a video one time for Tony's birthday. First person ever sent it, dude. Literally like three minutes after I asked, he sent me a video shot of him. He just gets stuff done right away. Nice. And that's what I see the successful people do is they don't have a lot of brain clutter of all this stuff that they want to do that they're not implemented. They just get the small little things done and they do it right away. And so it's not an it thing. It's just an action thing, in my mm -hmm. opinion. It's a decision making thing, which decisions can be made faster if you know where you're going and who you are and what you want to do. But at the end of the day, I think that's it. It's not like an it. It's not like these guys are better, faster, anything. Like I've met a lot of them. I met Ed Milet. I met freaking RJ Bates, um, you know, Ryan Pineda. There's not a whole lot of difference. There's like minor differences that they do, but it looks really wide because of the amount of time that they've been doing it. So they just do the same thing over and over and over again. And then like making the decisions quickly and then it expands and it's uh, exponential. So in the beginning, it looks like it's easy, but it starts off with just the small little things. Like it really does. And I know you guys hear everybody say that, but it's true. Finding out what you want to do and taking action. That's literally it. Taking action and then doing it all the time. Immediately, dude, immediately. Don't wait. All the little stuff that's happening in your life, all the little things that's bugging the crap out of you, just get it done. Everybody makes his excuses, dude. I remember that they always told me in my house, you know what everybody always says? Like, oh, I got these little projects that I want to get done. You know what everybody always says? It'll never be done. That's not true. It can get done. Like I've got my house done to where I had everything done that I wanted to. And it just feels like, wow, I can go in there and be at peace. But if you can't go in there and be at peace, then like, dude, get it done. Just get it done. Take the steps to just do one thing at a time. Yeah, right? just freaking do it, dude. Like it's so much nicer when you can just go into a place, it's all organized and you feel really good. Like it's just, it's crazy how it feels, so. That's funny you say that because I have like, we have so many ideas we wanna do, like get a fence in the back, finish the garage, finish the basement. Yep. But we just put it off, you know, we're like, oh, we'll get to it when we have like more money and stuff. And yep. You know what I mean? It takes up, it takes up freaking brain space, dude. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Day four, guys. See you on the next one. Peace. Yes, sir.